Hi there, it's Malcolm here again. Um, the question I've got for you today is what colour are you? Now this may seem a strange question. The reason I'm asking it though is that uh, there's a personality um, test that shows uh, different colours for different personalities. So my question is what colour are you? So why does this matter? Well, all of us have different ways of uh, meeting people, the type of people we like, greeting people, and how we like to be spoken to. So what colour you are tells you about uh, the things that are important to you, uh, the way you like to be talked to, and um, things that you value in your life. If this is true then, uh, if you knew the way to speak to people, if you knew what people valued, if you knew the way people thought, how would it help the way you approach them? It's bound to make a difference. So let me very quickly go through the, the main colour types and then you can find out more about each of them uh, in the link below this on my blog. So first of all of the colours there's yellow. Now yellow make up about the population. They're open and indirect with their feelings and they're very good at using both sides of their brain blue and that makes up about 15% of the population. Blues are open, direct with their feelings, very right brain, they talk fast. And there's green, green make up again about 35% of the population. They're indirect and self-contained with their feelings and they're left brain, very logical and like to analyze things. And there is red. Red make up about 15% of the population. They are direct and self-contained with their feelings. They are very left brain and are forceful individuals. So to summarize, yellow use both sides of the brain. Blue are right brained and creative. Green are left brained and analytical. And red are left brain and task orientated. So there you have it. Colours do make a difference. And if you know what type of person you're dealing with, and indeed what type of person you are yourself, you're more likely to be successful. Remember, relationships are all about building trust. And the way to build trust is to find out about people and work towards their strengths. There's a very well known technique of mirroring people. And this is just another way of doing it by finding out the way to speak to people, the way to approach people and what they like. So find out about yourself, find out about other people, your relationships, your business and your life will be a lot better for it. As I said, there's more on the link below to my blog and I'll speak to you again soon.